Okay, so let's start into Dragon Quest Monsters for the Game Boy Color. Oh, well, back then it was still called Dragon Warrior Monsters, but who counts, right? I honestly love this game. It is the game that brought me into Dragon Quest, and yeah, once the story is over, I will tell you, well, my story about this. But first, let's watch the little children hunt each other. That's a savage beginning. Terry, wait, it's time for bed. Did you forget what mom and dad told us? Stay up too late, and you will be carried away by monsters. Oh, I hope so. This is what that game is about. I want to be carried off by monsters. What? You want to meet monsters? See, Terry is just like me. Isn't that great? Don't be silly. Go to bed. Yeah, I do know the whole story of the game, but I will not spoil anything. We will experience everything as it comes. So, yeah. So, let's see. There's a teddy. And it's... Milaius. Or Milaya, or... For some reason she has a lot of names depending on which game you play, but... Well, if you don't know, these two are the siblings you also get in Dragon Quest VI. Thus, this game kinda is canon to Dragon Quest VI. I'm not completely sure how canon it actually is. But I guess that's for the player to see however they want, I guess, so... Feel free to add your headcanon however you want. Terry looked at the bookshelf. A fairy tale. Once upon a time, there was a little boy and a little girl in a village. That's just like me and my sister. What a weird coincidence. Uh, Diary of Milayu. Home alone with my brother. Hope no horrible monsters come out. Terry looked in front of him. A flame sparkles and vanishes in the air. Terry looked in the dresser. It's filled with his clothes. Oh, I have clothes. Terry looked in the dresser. It's filled with Milayu's clothes. So this is our room. Now, the weird thing is, this house, not even having an entrance, also only has these two rooms. So, what? Yeah, I guess it's made so that it's... Like... No weirdness that you could go outside or anything, but I think like a closed door and a pair of stairs that just says, hey, you cannot go up there because parents, blah, 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 would have worked. But I mean, it's a game by color game. We don't have to overanalyze it, you know. Uh, are you Milayo? Huh, you don't look like her. Milayo's a girl. I still don't get why this guy here called Warubo, it's not a spoiler, it will be mentioned soon, is red nowadays. Like, everything nowadays depicts him as red. Not only nowadays, even. Even, like, in the earlier days. He's supposed to be black, but I don't know, it's weird. Your name is Terry. You're not the one. I'm Warubo from the kingdom of Greatlock. Don't you forget it. But, but what if I forget it? The translators have seemed to forgotten it, because that's not your name anymore. It's something like Mini, or... I, I don't know. The other one, this one, it's also called Fluffy, I think, now, instead of Waterbo. So, well. Huh? What happened? Where's Milayo? Hi. Hi. You speak monster talk, don't you? Where's Milayu? Taking away? Oh no, I was too late. Warubo? I'm not Warubo. I'm Watabo. What? You wanna know where your sister is? Well, follow me. Maybe you can find her. I hope you're a skilled master. A, a skilled? Yeah, I mean, in my future, I will be a very, very skilled sword master. So, uh, wait, you're talking about monsters. Uh, 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 I, I'm from Dragon Quest VI, not from Dragon Quest V, so I don't know. Uh, huh? You don't understand what I'm talking about? You'll find out if you follow me. 
So we will follow you soon. Terry looked at the stuffed animal. Something is written on it. Property of Milayu. So she has two teddies and I have absolutely nothing. The clock reads midnight. You know... Like, graphically, it wouldn't be that hard to make this clock actually read midnight instead of 6 o'clock. But okay. Uh, too difficult to read. Oh, no. It must be Twilight. Encyclopedia of Monsters. Author unknown. Huh, intriguing. Okay, I guess I have the choice of saving my sister or going back to bed. This would be a neat easter egg. Like, imagine you could go back to bed, actually, and that would just give you a game over stream. This is the point where you can make stuff like that, because... The thing is... You would need to start the game over, sure, but, like... That isn't amounting to much at this point. If that would happen like later, that would suck so much and wouldn't be funny. But this early you can just start over, you know. Nothing too bad. But now let's get sucked into my draw. Ooh, first teleportation. I just love this music. Listen to it. Such a good tune. Na, 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 na. Oh, you must be the master. You must have had a long trip here. What, you don't know where you are? You're in the kingdom of Great Tree. Watabo brought you here. Let's get going. We have to visit the castle to pay our respects to the king. Da 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 This kingdom is created inside a big tree. We are at the bottom. The castle is at the top. Hey, is the new master Watabo brought here? Yes, indeed. I'm taking him to see the king. Good luck at the Starry Night Tournament. Thanks. Guy or girl, I have no idea who you actually are. But thanks. Starry Night Tournament? What is that even? Huh? Now it's time to go see the king. The king. I'm the minister of this kingdom. Are you the new master? His majesty has a favor to ask you. Please comply with his request. Oh, I can walk. I can walk and talk. His majesty is in trouble. Please provide us aid. Please listen to his wish. This is the castle of Great Tree. Can I go outside? Oh, I can, huh? This is the kingdom of Great Tree. You look like Stan's dad from South Park. That's funny. Hurry, go see the king. Welcome, I am the king of this kingdom. Ah, uh, wait, I don't feel that voice actually. Welcome, I am the king of this kingdom. Identify yourself. My child. I am Terry. Yeah, some people might wonder about this. You can only enter four letters in this game. But Terry has five letters, thus your name, if you leave it like that, is smooshed. The reason for that is that you can write, like, every name in general in Japanese with only four of the so-called kana, their alphabet. And back in the day, for the Game Boy Color, it was a bit hard to remove that limit and stuff. It was quirky, so they didn't like this. Terry, for example, would be written as Te and Ri, which are only two letters in Japanese. So, yeah, there's that. But well, we go with Terry because that's his name. 
But that is why this looks a bit weird. Yes! Oh yes, this is my name. Oh, Terry, will you comply with my wish? My wish is nothing but for you to participate and win the tournament of the Starry Night. What? You say you would rather find your kidnapped sister? Didn't you come here to comply with my request? Oh. Oh! However, there is an easier way than searching for her. Win the tournament of the Starry Night. Legend has it that the one who is victorious in the tournament of the Starry Night will be granted a wish. Your wish is to find your sister and it will be granted. That way we both win. Meanwhile, search for your sister while you prepare for the tournament. Honestly though? You could say that's very egotistical of him, but it's also pretty much a win-win situation. It's not like he can send me just back. Well, he can send me just back, but I wouldn't find my sister that way, so... Actually, I don't lose anything with this deal, honestly. It's fair. Then again, I'm like, what, six to eight years old and setting out to fight monsters. Sure, I got other ones that's with me, but, like, huh. Oh, well, it's a fantasy world. Here, I shall give you some monsters. Without any monsters, you cannot serve as a master. The monster farm is on the upper level. Go and ask Pulio for your monsters. And I bet there is no problem to be found with that. Hey, you! You came here to steal my monsters? No, the king sent me to get monsters. You came here to get monsters? I'm Pulio. I take care of this farm. I heard about you from the king. Take your monsters. Uh, well, actually, I only have one monster. An old one. It slip. It was the favorite of our last king. Choose pickup to take the monster. Uh, pick up? Slip. Let's look at the weather. Well, that's that doesn't seem that old. This seems like very newborn and not well bred. On top of that, it's whimsy, huh? Yeah. Train it well, Terry. No, oh, nothing else. Later, we'll be here for you. See, absolutely no problem with that. Haha. <laughs> Uh. Oh, this monster is the former king's. Terry, why did you adopt that monster? Huh? This is the only one left? That's Pulio! He must have let the other monsters escape! Pulio? Pulio! Bring Pulio here! Hi, Pulio. Your Majesty, please forgive me. Pulio, did Hale escape as well? Majesty, please forgive me. Hale escaped too. Ah, you! You let my precious Hale escape too. <laughs> this is unforgivable. Throw him in the dungeon. Anyone doing anything? Oh, I need to move. What? Terry! You have something to say? What? You will catch hail to free Pulio? You say you will catch hail? That sounds like catching a disease. Um, sounds interesting. You may try, Terry. Majesty, hail has came through the Traveler's Gate. I see. Now, Terry, proceed to the Traveler's Gate. If you bring hail back, I will pardon Pulio. The treasure chest in the next room is now yours. Ask the minister about it. You are dismissed. Busy, busy, busy. And there he goes. Bye, king. I wonder if I can go in there sometime. Hmm. Okay, before we go, we have a bit of exploration to do and talk to some people. Let's see what they have to say. Here it is again. 
the starry night comes after every 47th full moon. 47 is an interesting number, but why not? On that night, many stars tumble down one after another. The ancient poets said that the brightness of the stars is like shining life. To celebrate the night, a tournament is held. We call this the Starry Night Tournament. Cool. What do you have to say? His Majesty seems to be very upset. Please proceed to the Traveler's Gate and bring Hale back. Terry, good luck. Thank you. I guess. In the chambers of the Traveler's Gates exist the Mystic Spirits. You can go to Mystic Worlds through them. There are no wild monsters living on this side of the gate. All the wild monsters live on the other side of the Traveler's Gates. <laughs> Which is cool. So, shall we go up to the farm and see what the monsters up there have to say? Apparently not, because they are blocking. And so, like, how did the monsters actually get up there? The ones that escaped, you know? When you enter the Traveler's Gates, you will be sent to an alien world. There are magical holes in the mystic world, and you can warp to the next level of the world through the holes. Warping. Yeah, surely that's not falling down. You should be able to come back when you defeat the monster on the last level. During the adventure, if you want to see the map of where you've been, press the select button. But it works only when you are in the mystic world. I have a feeling that your victory will help you find your sister. Okay, we got an herb. By the way, tell me, do you say herb or herb? Also, do you say, say H or do you pronounce the letter as H? Because I surely learned it as H, not H. But nowadays everyone seems to be saying H and I don't get why. And we got another herb. The Master of Monsters. Want to read the book? Oh, yes, we wanna. People who understand monster talk and are able to tame them. There are few masters who can understand and tame monsters. It is important not only to understand them, but also to be liked by them. There are masters from this world and masters who are brought by Watabo, who is the spirit of Great Tree. Oh. Now that's something interesting going on there, isn't it? And the kingdom of Great Tree. Yes, we want to read it. It's a little kingdom built inside a big tree. And honestly, I love this kingdom so much. Like the idea of it growing over time. It's so geniusly made. Like, I love Dragon Quest Monsters 3, also known as the Dark Prince here in the West, but it misses a lot of things, the original one. And the second one actually had like the growing village stuff and everything and just the way you can find secret gates you will see that later on in this playthrough and everything there's so much to this and this is a GBC game not a switch game so that makes you think don't get me wrong the Dark Prince is really good I really love that game but it's too strong Straight lined, streamlined, whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean? Other kingdoms are also built in big trees. All the kingdoms have something called Traveler's Gates. Beyond the gates are the mystic worlds where the monsters live. When the Steronite tournament nears, Great Tree trembles. It's a sign that Great Tree is growing. Oh yeah, grow up, my Great Tree. So, I guess it's time for our first Traveler's Gate. Hale was the cherished pet of the king. Why did I run away? Over there, the room with the door open, is the chamber of traveler's gates. You will find items scattered around in the traveler's gates. Use them well to continue your adventure. You can only carry up to 20 of them. That is something I am struggling a bit with. I am not too fond of limited item space. But also for a game like this, it's somehow... You have to think what you bring, actually. So, yeah. <sighs> Having unlimited inventory and limited both has a benefit as well 
as a this benefit on top of it. It's like hard to decide. So yeah, maybe both are just fine. Welcome to the Chamber of Traveler's Gates, little master. Yes, the Chamber of the Traveler's Gates. So what is this gate called? We are at the Chamber of Traveler's Gates. This way to the Traveler's Gate. He'll escape through this gate. We're counting on you, Terry. Oh wait, I think this is just called the Traveler's Gate, even though they all are Traveler's Gates. Well, time to finally go in. Boom! Let's move on. So my plan is there are three monsters you encounter here and we wanna tame one of each. That being said, we already have a slime, so we don't really need another one. If I get one, okay, that's good for breeding, but yeah, that's the plan. Also, this can show you the map. You can switch between level and HP MP. And here you see everything else. But as we explore and battle, I wanted to tell you the story I have with this game. So basically, being from Germany uh, doesn't matter all that much, but it was a German magazine. Thus, being from Germany makes sense. We have German magazines over here. I know, weird. I saw this game and was intrigued. It looked like, well, yeah, I'm gonna say it even though I hate saying it. It looked kind of like Pokemon, but the monster designs are so different. Interesting. And I had it on my mind for quite a while. I'm not quite sure how long. Could be a week, could be months. Like, time as a kid was different. And we just got a Draggy in female. So, yeah. And then I saw it. I saw the game actually in a shop and was like oh this game i that is the one i have seen in that magazine that is cool i need to get this and well i had the money for it i could actually afford it which oh yes let's go and afford it honestly And, well, basically, I just bought it, and then I fell in love with it. It was like, oh boy, this was such great. I, for a long time, I almost only played this one game, barely changing to anything else, which was so great. And something I really miss about my childhood, there aren't many games I fell fall in love with like this anymore. It's not necessarily the game's fault, it's just me growing up, having access to way more games than I had as a child. You know, stuff like that, so... It's not necessarily the games we have nowadays being bad or anything, because, hey, we have great games. But it was just magical. A magic you can only experience when you're a child, so... Whenever someone says, games have gotten so bad, no, you've just grown up, dude. Games aren't bad. That's not how this is. And yeah. Falling in love with this game, and yeah, there will be a sad addition to this. I almost had every monster in this game. And this is one goal I want to achieve with this series of let's plays we're gonna get all the monsters i will cut off the grinding a lot of course because watching the grind isn't all that fun but yeah that is one goal i want to see what happens i have never looked that up and i will see it the problem is a friend of mine or well guess it wasn't really a friend has stolen the game from me. I found that out too late. He moved. He moved before I could it get back. Before I could get it back. That was weird. So the game was gone. And even if I had gotten it back, he probably 
deleted my save anyway, and yeah. The game's clock goes to 99 hours and 59 minutes, and I was well past that. I reached that threshold long before I was done with this game, so I put a ton of time in this game, and yeah. It's sad. It's sad, honestly. But... There is a bit of a bright side to it as well. I got into emulation. Sometime after all of that. And you can think about emulation what you want. Honestly, my opinion is it's fine as long as you do it with, like, games you cannot really buy anymore. They are a certain age, like Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Super Nintendo. Also, as a child, I could... Definitely not afford those. And through this, I discovered a lot of great games, like Chrono Trigger, for example, which was never released in Germany. I discovered thanks to emulation, and... Hey, I bought it on Steam. Probably not because of that. I would have bought that anyway because I love RPGs and would have been intrigued enough, but... I digress. Thing is, when I looked at RPGs specifically for the Super Nintendo, of course you find your Final Fantasies and... Well, I knew the Mana series. I found out that those had a sequel. And then I saw something. Dragon Warrior 6. Now wait a minute. That name sounds very familiar, doesn't it? And yes, I checked it out. And then... There are slimes, like... Like this one right here. Wait, this game has something to do with with my beloved Dragon Quest Monsters. Or Dragon Warrior Monsters. I still called it Warrior because that's the English title back then. And yeah, this was only a spin-off. There's an actual series of m games. And this was Dragon Warrior 6, so I have six of them to play. More even. Because the PS1 was already a thing. Dragon Warrior 7, my favorite of the whole series, was also part of this, obviously, due to the title. So, wow. And thus, I found my favorite series of RPGs. No, my favorite series of games, period. And, well... That's my story with this. But now, on to getting this anteater, huh? I guess. This is the one that's still missing. We need a bit of luck for it to stand up again, so... Whoa, whoa, we don't need any luck, especially, and it just stands up. Perfect, then we can move on. Yes. No, I'm not gonna name you AE. Uh, Navi, okay, yeah. Yeah, for a while I will go with the suggested nicknames just because... I don't want to think up a nickname for every single monster, honestly. That would be a bit too much. Uh, okay, uh, honestly... I think... Yeah, let's try and get to hail. We can win this. Let's go. Oh, wait. There's another... Yeah, well, okay. Uh... Oh, yeah, this map part! Good that we found this, like, this early. Yeah, well, we cannot see it right here, but... I always call this the uterus, because of how it looks. I know I'm, I might be weird, but, um, well... Okay, let's explore the stuff, and then we go and fight Hail. And there it is. Hail. If you don't know, this game is packed full with knots and easter eggs and everything to... Well, the whole series of Dragon Warrior to this point. And this part here is based on Dragon Quest IV. This being Healy, friend of Ragnar. 
one of the characters you get in there. So, let's see. How do you do? I'm Hale! I know you are here to catch me, but you can't forget it. The farm is boring. I want to go back. Well, we'll see about that, Mr. Hale the Heel Slime. Let's fight. Honestly, I like the mechanic of the monsters fighting themselves. It's interesting, and... You know, you don't have to take full control of them always. Also, you can do stuff like this. You can actually also give commands if you want to. Though, if you give to commands, you cannot use any items. So, that's a nice strategical thing. Yes, a critical hit! Yeah, try healing yourself. Too bad we don't see how much you heal, but oh well. Doesn't matter. As long as you heal, you cannot damage me, but I can damage you, eating away your HP. And that critical was a very good start. Another critical! Come on! Yeah! Let's go! Okay, and... The heal slime. Healer, Healy, Dr. Slime, whatever. They call it Healer here. A lot of the names changed over time. Is knocked down. And wants to come with us! Do we want to take you? Yes, actually. And I'm gonna do something I never really do usually. But I'm gonna exchange you for Slip. Just because... I don't want to have two slimes in my party. Not that it's that important at this point. I will be doing a lot of breeding and probably a lot of doubles on my team. At least when it comes to the families. But, you know, having a healer and these two attackers, that sounds like a good idea. And Slip... I love the Dragon Quest slimes, honestly. I really do, but... They're not the greatest monster to have on your team. You are strong. I like you, Terry. Oh, it's Watabo. This I also love. Watabo always comes and gives you a little info bit or just a floppy remark or something after you defeat a boss. That's so neat. Right on, Terry. I'll take you back to the castle. Well, let's go back to the castle then. whoop de doo whoop de doo Oh, Terry, did you bring back Hale? What? Hale said he doesn't want to come back to me. But he said he would rather join you. Huh, I see. Huh, you sure are good with monsters. Well done. I'm pleased with your performance. Yeah, we'll breed him away anyway. Oh, well. I will let Pulio go. Thank you, Terry. Now I can go back to my farm. Yeah, Puyo's on the farm now, where he lives a happier life. Wait a minute. Terry, go to the arena. Your rivals are waiting for you at the arena. You can compete in the tournament if you defeat all of them. You are dismissed. Busy, busy, busy. And there the king goes.